he's telling us that these trials are for a moment and that this is the time that we should be rejoicing and not fretting. Well, me, we may be saying, yes, I am going through, but it's kind of hard to be rejoicing when I'm going through. But Peter wants us to recognize and realize that these, in these times, we must rejoice because these trials have come to let us know just how pure our faith really is. If you go back and you look down at verse 7, it tells us that our faith is being tested to make sure that it's going to be able to stand in the presence of God. We must realize that just like gold, our faith has to go through a purification process. See, a lot of times we think that our faith is strong until it's tested. We think that we can take whatever the enemy throws at us. We call ourselves warriors for the kingdom. And we think because we started with our mustard seed faith that we can make it. But we fail to realize that nothing is proven to be true until it is tested. Have you ever, I don't know if you've ever had something that, a ring or a necklace or a bracelet, and you thought it was gold, and you went to get it appraised, and you found out it was something what they call a gold plate. And a gold plate is, the outer, the outer part is a little bit of gold, but the inner part of it is silver. It's dipped in gold. It's just a thin layer of gold, just enough to fool the natural eye, but underneath it is silver. Well, what are you saying? A lot of us are walking around with faith that looks like the real deal. It talks like the real deal. It sounds like the real deal. And it weighs like the real deal. But oh, when it gets put into the fire. Can your faith stand in the fire? Yeah.